Come on, let's stretch our legs. Okay. You have to understand that when Tim first approached me about coming here to help out the flood victims, I didn't really understand how much this community meant to him. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people know that I'm a huge LSU fan, but LSU is more than just a school for me and my family. It's a member of the family. Uh, my father was able to go to college, the first person in his family to go to college because of a scholarship from LSU. Uh, his brother Billy followed and played quarterback. My uncle Andy was there and, and on scholarship. And then I was able to go and work for the same man my father worked for in the athletic department and have my college paid for as well. So it's much more than just a school for us. And even more than that, this community means so much to me because uh, it was a place of rebirth for me. But before it was a place of rebirth, it's where I bottomed out completely mm. with alcohol. A lot of people don't know this about you. No. And they uh, can't even picture it, because I know I can't. <laughs> well, and, and that's the good thing. Right? That's a blessing <laughs> that people can't see me that way anymore. But uh, when my parents divorced when I was in eighth grade um, and my father moved out of the house, I walked away from God. I walked, walked away from the life I was living and, and began to drink on a regular basis. And from the first time I drank uh, on through my entire drinking career, blackouts were a normal part uh, of the process for me. I'd wake up in places and see my car and not remember driving there. And then my senior year uh, in college, I woke up once more in a strange place with strange people, uh, with my car parked out front, and I just bottomed out and said, I can't imagine living my life with or without alcohol. Where do I turn? And my Uncle Andy, who uh, I've always had a very close relationship with, had just moved back to Baton Rouge right when I hit my bottom, and I called him. And I didn't, know, I didn't know what to do, but I knew he would. And he brought me here. This, is, this was the spot of my very first AA meeting. It was just a huge moment for me. I mean, it was, uh, it was the beginning of a change in my life uh, where I didn't have to live that old life anymore. You know, Johnny Cash has a song called Out Among the Stars. And in it he says, oh, how many travelers get weary bearing both their burdens and their scars. Don't you know they'd love to start all over and fly like eagles out among the stars? And that was the opportunity I was given. I mean, mm. by, the, by the choices I'd been making, I should have been dead or in prison. Either in high school or in college, that's where I should have been. But, but thanks mm. to this community rallying around me, uh, and I was in AA meetings on campus at LSU every day. They said do 90 meetings in 90 days, I blew that away. <laughs> I was in meetings all the time. And I was with my uncle, and he was pouring into me and, and supporting me. and, and uh, so this, this, this place is where life started over for me. And the other thing I didn't know was the significance of this week. Yeah, so I told you November 3rd, 1991 was my first AA meeting. You do the math. Today, 25th anniversary of my sobriety. So all that together, coming down to bring aid back to this place, it means so much to me. Not just the school, but the community that rallied around me and supported me uh, as I began a new way of life. Um, it was just amazing. And I, I couldn't be more thankful. But see how God used it? Because I've mentioned to you guys that the whole idea of this show came from, I'm gonna cry, dang. <laughs> see how God uses the struggles? Absolutely. The whole idea of this show came to me when I heard you share that story on the radio. I didn't even know him except as well as most of you, he was Timmy Zell. But all of that got used for good. And why tell that story? Why do I tell that story? Because I want people to know that it doesn't have to stay that way. No matter what you're living in, no matter what you're struggling with, you, you, you don't have to stay that way. There is a chance to fly like eagles out among the stars. There's a chance to restart. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have the opportunities to tell these stories to you. I wouldn't have the opportunity to have a, a, a beautiful bride, Kim, at home with three wonderful children. I don't deserve any of that. And people say, oh, that's so good, 25, you did something. No, I didn't do anything. I walked into that room broken, lost. I didn't, know, I didn't have a clue. They nursed me back together. And, and they shared their experience, strength, and hope with me and showed me a new way of living. It wasn't anything I did. My best thinking got me in those old places. But thanks to that community that rallied around me, I got a restart.